there over my life, so I figure, why not? Um, so anyway, Austria um, is a country located in Europe. Uh, this is actually a picture that I took in Vienna from a palace there called the Belvedere Palace, um, or Schloss Belvedere, and I don't know, I just liked it a lot, I thought it was pretty. So, <laughs> um, Austria is located down here. Um, it's basically in the heart of Europe, um, surrounded by countries like Germany, uh, Italy, Hungary, Switzerland, etc. cetera. Um, and its national colors are red, white, and red. Um, and so this is a, just a quick, uh, I guess, map of it. Um, Vienna is the capital, and um, most of the big cities are like Vienna, Salzburg, Graz, Linz. Um, and there's definitely a difference between um, like the way people speak or their political views in terms of uh, like between the cities and in the countryside. So like for instance, in the last presidential election, um, all the cities voted for like a particular candidate while all the basically the majority of the people in the country voted for someone else, um, which is similar to here, I guess, um, that rural urban divide, but anyway. Um, so, a typical stereotype um, that some people have of Austria is clothing. So, uh, this is, uh, like these clothes are the Derendel and the Lederhosen, and they are um, traditional clothing in Austria, uh, also southern Germany, Bavaria, um, that region. So, a common misconception that people have is that, like, this kind of clothing is what everybody in Austria uh, walks around in, um, and that is not the case. They do, um, still dress up like this uh, for festivals. Like for instance, there is a wine festival that they have um, in the early fall, uh, like in September or late August. And um, basically uh, people wear this kind of dress. Uh, also, if, has anyone heard of Oktoberfest? Raise your hand if you have, yeah. Okay, so that's in Germany, right? But um, a lot of people wear like the same kind of clothing. And it's basically based on um, like the clothing that people in the Alps used to wear, like peasants in the Alps um, in the mountains used to wear. So yeah, but they basically dress like everybody else, especially in the city. Um, I spent a lot of time in Vienna and uh, it's pretty fashion forward. So <laughs> they don't dress like that anyway. Um, okay, so then activities. Also, I had to, I tried to incorporate as many pictures of myself as I could <laughs> because just to show you that, um, it's really fun to go to Austria. <laughs> anyway, um, so Austria is a really pretty country. The, the landscape is really nice. Uh, there's a lot of things to do, not only in the city with like a ton of different art and culture, but also in the countryside. And so a lot of like uh, different people, such as like Germans, for instance, assume that like all Austrians know how to ski or that uh, they like to spend a lot of time outdoors, which I mean, of course, you can see that it's gorgeous, so why would you not want to sit and spend time outdoors? But that's not the case. Um, obviously, everybody has different activities that they do. Um, they're not all out there skiing all the time. <laughs> um, so that's kind of one stereotype or misconception. Now, if we talk about behavior, um, Vienna is seen as the capital, is seen as like a very status-focused um, place. Like, so people care about titles a lot they want to be called like if they have if they're like a doctor um they want to be you know like i'm doctor or whatever uh they want to include that in the title and uh there's a misconception within austria as well that people in uh, vienna are very um kind of have this air of superiority because they're in the capital city um and i'll explain that in a minute um another misconception or just idea of behavior is that Austrians are punctual, clean, orderly, and hardworking. And this is probably due to the fact that they're so close to Germany and they have such shared origins because that's also a common misconception with Germany as well as being like hardworking and um, other things. Oh, sorry guys about the background noise, by the way. Um, so also Austria is known as being polite and cultured um, because of the high culture there. It's also known as a Christian nation um, because a lot of the people who are um, like who live there are very religious uh, or are Christians. There's also historical baggage because of uh, their past, especially with um, with what happened with uh, Germany, Nazi Germany, and Austrians are generally seen as being very well off. So, okay, let's see. 
Okay, so here's just a quick explanation of maybe why um, these are considered. So for instance, in Vienna, um, the lifestyle is seen as pretty glamorous, uh, not only in the past because they had a monarchy in the Habsburg Empire, but today too, uh, this, this theme of like uh, the tradition of like going to balls and dressing up or going to the opera or seeing art museums because Vienna has a ton of art museums. Um, this, this idea of like high culture is still very much uh, there. Um, also, Vienna is generally rated uh, the best city in the world to live in. Um, for many years in a row now, it's had that title. So it's, it's seen as like a pretty well-off place, a safe place, a clean place. Um, freedom of religion is guaranteed, but much of the population is Roman Catholic or Christian. So that supports the idea of Christian nation. And then because of the connection to Germany, which is known for its populations or misconception of populations, functionality, and industrious qualities is also connected with Austrians. So I thought it might be interesting to look up like how Austrians view themselves. Um, so there was a survey that I found where the Austrians were asked to compare not only different parts of Austria, but also themselves to other countries. So up here is different parts of Austria, such as, this is just Austria in general, but this is Vienna, um, Salzburg, Tirol, which is where the mountains are mainly, um, Vorarlberg, different like, regions. And then here's a comparison to other countries. So Austrians say, think that they're friendlier than Germans, for instance. Um, overall, they think that Austrian, like, um, Austrians are maybe more leisurely than Germans, um, especially if you see this, uh, or more likable too. <laughs> um, so it's pretty interesting to see just like what their ideas are about that. Um, and so my last little thing, I guess, is just to talk about how Austria is different from Germany, because although they have been connected in the past and have a shared history for a lot of it, um, there are a lot of differences. So for instance, Austria has uh, speaks German, like the official language is German, but people sound very different than they do in Germany. So the way Austrians speak German is very different from the way Germans speak German. Um, and of course, there are different dialects in different parts of Germany, but um, they even use different words in Austria for same things. So for instance, like potato in German is die Kartoffel, but in uh, Austrian it's der Adapfel, so it's different. Um, and so for, there's a lot of these kinds of changes. Also, um, Austrians perceive Germany as kind of being like a big brother, and I got that from the same survey. Um, but they see themselves as being like more friendly and more leisurely. And then just some quick facts about Austria. It's a pretty small country with about 9 million people. Um, it's a part of the EU, but it has been status neutral. So it has neutrality since 1955. And there have been a lot of famous people, um, or maybe well-known people is a better word from Austria. Some for the good, like Amadeus Mozart and uh, actor Christoph Waltz and Arnold Schwarzenegger too is from there. But unfortunately, Austria has this historical baggage, like for instance, with Adolf Hitler being from there. So anyway, um, yeah, then I will...